small accents. We're like, one and two, boom, boom, boom. That's what we're brought up on. Some people might say that Bach is terribly worthy and that a church oratorio would be even more so. Well, my, my feeling about this is because it's often com compared to Handel's Messiah, needless to say, because they're both Christmas pieces and they're probably the most commonly performed Christmas pieces. Handel's Messiah was written nine years later and he had no knowledge of this at all and they're very different. Handel comes from an operatic tradition and he wrote in a style which was largely derived from the Italian opera of the period. So it has choruses but it also has very short recitatives and, and long arias. It's quite a reflective piece and although it covers the Christmas story, it's more about reflection on the story. Interestingly, Bach went in the other direction. It, in some ways, it's much more dramatic. The whole of the Christmas story is told in a very dramatic way, much more so than in Handel. He uses recitative, but it's, it's very lively and very dramatic recitative, and it uses all the, the, the traditional story of St. Luke and later on St. Matthew's account of the, of the wise men and, and Herod. And he, he makes King Herod to be the real baddie of the piece. And there's lots of quaking and very dramatic orchestral writing to indicate how much everybody disapproves of King Herod. And a lot of the rejoicing at the end of the piece is actually to do with having side-footed King Herod, not just the celebration of Christ's birth itself. So I've, I think it's, it's one of the most um, approachable and dramatic of all the Christmas pieces. And above all, it tells the story more clearly than any. What are some of your favourite pieces, favourite moments in the piece? Well, one of my real favourite pieces is, is the Pastoral Symphony. Many of you will be familiar with the, the, the Handel version. which ha has the, the lilting 12-8 rhythm that one associates with pastoral music of that period, but it also has a kind of drone bass, a sort of bagpipe feel to it. Ba Bach's pastoral symphony uses a, a, an enhanced orchestration. He has the benefit of four oboes and, and two, two flutes as well as strings. So he, he puts them into two categories. He has the strings and the flutes representing the celestial element and he uses the four oboes, in this case oboe de more and oboe de caccia, which are the, the bigger, deeper instruments to represent the, the pipes of, of the shepherds. And at first they, they play completely separately, so the strings and the flute Again, has that very lilting, dance-like quality, but very slow. And then the oboes come in later on. And as the piece progresses, the two elements are gradually entwined. So by the end, you can't actually tell the difference between the oboes sounds and, and the flute music and flute and string music. And it's com combined in the most wonderful way. And it makes this extraordinary, very peaceful, very tranquil, but, but very moving symphony. What would you say were the most challenging parts for the choir? Well, from a choral perspective, most choral music of this period is comparatively difficult to sing and, and Bach it certainly is, comes into that category because he tends to write in a very instrumental way. He treats his voices as if they were instruments, so he expects them to phrase in the same way that a string instrument of that period would have phrased. So rather than singing, they tend to have a much lighter approach and lots of lifting of phrases, just as you would with a Baroque bow. If I could just show you with my pencil here, a modern bow you tend to hold at the bottom and it makes the, the weight of the stick 
much heavier by comparison with a Baroque bow where they hold it further up so it's much better balanced and it's much easier to lift off the string to produce a lighter quality to the phrasing and the articulation and it's really important that the singers do that and that's what we're working on for this performance. Will we remember the soloists from previous concerts? I'm sure you will. All the soloists that we're using, we've had sing for us before, most notably Erika Eloff, who sang the most wonderful vocalese, Rachmaninoff, last year, and they've all performed for us wonderfully well. So we're inviting them back with open arms. Who do you think should come to the concert and why? I think any, anybody who has been to the Messiah and, in, and enjoyed hearing the Christmas story portrayed in that way would, will absolutely love this because it, it has all the attributes that the Messiah has, but it's a very different style and it has just as much interest, if not more. Anybody who has any interest in Christmas at all, it's, it's a wonderful way to get into the Christmas spirit. It has the whole of the story told very coherently and it is contains some of the happiest and most glorious music that Bach ever wrote. My soul.